right, so we're still. Stop me if I've if I'm if I'm wrong about this, but we're still in the sewers. I'm Here's another closing thing. Yes. my eyes and imagining that we're out in an open field, Seamus. The the sewers are like Oblivion and Skyrim are one of those interesting things where one came out comparatively early in a console cycle, and one came out not super late, but late-ish in the console cycle. And yeah. you can really see where they learned how to put that console's power to use, and how they this game looks much, much better than Oblivion. Um, yeah. Yeah. But so these sewers are perhaps the most oblivion-y looking thing they have in the game, where it's just really, really like just generic walls of dirt and grime and. You know what else? The I think the the dungeon design in this game is amazing, Thanks. but and I can get through a dungeon and know where I'm going for the most part. The sewers, I get so fucking lost oh, every single time I'm in there. This guy's another cannibal, Momos. I don't... Oh, oh, good, a cannibal. He's a cannibal chef. You can tell because he's wearing a chef hat. Oh yeah. But yeah, I get st I get lost in the sewers so the easy compared tunic. to the dungeons. And there's I'm not, not really a lot sure of why. Have to put this on. Well, there's not a lot of variety in the tile pieces. Like, um, you've got open rooms in a lot of the dungeons. Okay, here's this set piece, open room, changing lighting. <laughs> sewers are just kind of all sewers. Uh, yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Now play the whole game like that, Josh. Josh. Master Chef. Master Chef. Horse meat. Yeah. Sleep while enemies are nearby. That's you, Janessa, not an enemy. Where the fuck is this enemy? Oh, hey. The the scared person is triggering enemies because she's fucking annoying. Go away. This part confused me because I think I was making. Oh, I didn't do that. I definitely didn't do that. Janessa killed her. She is deaf! <laughs> Janessa she was freaked out. Deaf. You just killed a deaf girl, you jerk. I'm sorry. She was making it so I can't sleep on the cannibal chef's bed. It was really annoying. And of course that's integral to our completing this game. It is. You gotta get the rested <laughs> bonus. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I don't care. What? No, that's not me. I you know, that's another thing this game doesn't use. Wow, as you're super inconspicuous. Oh, how reassuring! Most likely, you're with the Thalmor. This is what's that, Chris? The, the huh? whenever you go to sleep and it has the little you you wake up feeling rested comment. Um, you you think they'd use the console up there more to do more flavor text, which would maybe give some nice background oh, in certain areas. I'd or... love that. I'd love that. I'd yeah. love just more text. You know what I've always wanted in a game is a game where they try and put your other senses to use. Like it smells like it smells like cherry blossoms in here, or you can you can smell the ocean, or it's chilly. I like that we're in a or... sewer, and you're like, it smells like cherry blossoms. <laughs> yeah, not here. No, no, no. Welcome I'm to in my Japan happy place. Sewer. I, I, I'm, you I'm have closing a my eyes. You smell as cherry blossom. I, I'm, I've closed my eyes. I'm going to my happy place because I can't take much more of Josh's sewer run. You murdered a deaf girl. She was nice. By the way, this is Max von Sydow, another one of the big-named actors who they just... He gives a great performance, but it's coming out of this guy who looks bored to be here. Look at him with his hands on his hips, shifting his weight. He doesn't look like this mad... He doesn't look like this slightly crazed ex-spy. I mean, he, right. you need body he language like to go with this. He looks like a wearing 
yes. some normal you know clothes. He looks like Bellathorn. Taking like, shortcuts in this game, I know. <laughs> I know, but it's a weird short ki shortcut to take when you put down all this money for these great voice actors, and then their performance comes out of... I mean, Andy Serkis will tell you why this is a bad thing, but you've got this incredible performance coming out of this body that is doing something completely... Un oh, you're going to fold your arms now, because, of course, that's what you do when you're talking about oh, yes. the world-ending dragon is you're like, well, the yeah, there's this dragon and it's probably going to kill everybody anyway. Um, I gotta, but let no me refill my ale. Has been known for centuries. It seems that the gods have grown tired of us. They've left us it, it's tough, though, because, like, you, if you walk too hard in the other direction and you have him, like, if, if Esbern was fully animated and was doing interesting things along with his interesting voice acting, and you were free to dick around, Josh would be totally screwing with him. He'd be like, so Esbern would be like <laughs> making coffee or, or like doing a bunch of hand gestures. Meanwhile, Josh would be putting a pot on his head, and it's like, right? But that's how way can better. you get the I player to buy into that? I I think that would that's preferable. It's the thing is the player tolerates the crazy shit they do. It's much more distracting when the NPCs Oops. are basically not participating in the play they're putting on. Um, you know, like like when I played Half Life, Half Life Two, I, you know, I was fine if I jumped around on Dr. Kleiner's desk. I didn't mind that he didn't react to that. I would have loved it if he did. Yeah. But that didn't ruin the game for me. So the fact that the game cut me loose and trusted me to, you know, put the fun in my hands and said, if you want to be an asshole, you can be an asshole. If you want to take part in this scene, you can take part in this scene. And I like that way better than lock the camera and make me look at this very uninteresting performance. And oh, even at that, that Dr. Kleiner's that Imperial performance... dude down there is now fighting. If you were gonna watch, watch the camera... Cl then have some new animations. It's, it's yeah. really that simple. And watch Dr. Kleiner's performance sometime. Him walking, kind of bent over with his hands, kind of rubbing them together worriedly. That's, that is it. that is it. he's not just using the same generic stuff that you see from everybody else. Jesus Christ, he's dead, come on! Oh, he's not dead. My, my kill animation got interrupted, apparently. What the hell was that? It's confusing. I never know what's going on in this. Oh, it turns out that Esbern is a magical badass. If that is what you wish. All right, let's get out of the sewers by going back oh. through all the rest of the sewers that we were just in. This is definitely, this is one of those places in the game I really needed one of those quick exits. Okay, it wouldn't yep. make any sense here, but I, I'll, I'll forgive it. Just please let me out of this friggin' don't make me run this rat maze again. Just an escape route. Ah. That's the best thing in Pokemon, is that if you don't want to be in a cave anymore, you're just like, ooh, I got my escape rope, see you bitches later. Oh. But no, we're going to get to the end of this maze, and Gary Oak will be waiting for us. <laughs> God damn it. That's the worst thing about Pokemon, is when you there. fucking fight your heart out through a cave and then you get out of the cave and your rival's standing there waiting for you and you're like, why? <laughs> and you have, like, why no, are you doing no this? No PP left for all your good moves. Right. I've, uh, I've been playing Minecraft recently, so these dark tunnels are making me crazy. I want to put torches everywhere. I'm like, oh, you're gonna get creepers <laughs> like this. Do you want creepers? Because this is how you get creepers. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a dad. Creepers just invade. You want creepers? Huh, son? Do you want creepers in your cave? Then you gotta put up lights so you don't get them. Oh, 
thank goodness. We're here. Finally. We're done. Yay! Spin that alchemy lab. Spin it. Spin. Okay, so that we just did eleven episodes, right? Yeah. There was eleven episodes of, of sewers. I'm pretty sure. I feel and like that's, part of our that's, soul is oh, gone. God damn it! I think we left it in there. Oh, thank you so much. Whoosh! Seriously, dude. <laughs> you guys are so silly. Why do NPCs have such gigantic hitboxes? Especially friendly NPCs. You Considering you look down and you don't really have a body. It would be totally acceptable. Why don't they acceptable. just scoot out of the way? Yeah, just or scoot. if, if yeah, that's I know. too much that's trouble, make wish. their hitbox, like, not include their arms. So that I can kind of like get around, their body isn't, you know, much yeah. wider than their torso. So you can just go around somebody. Oh, all these little details that just constantly shatter your immersion by making, you know, I can't ask this person to move, so I have to Fusro da them 20 feet to get them out it's of a crazy. friggin' doorway. It just is so <laughs> bonkers. Well, and it takes you out of the... Whatever escapism you had before, it takes you out of it. Because you're like, I don't want to Fusro do my friend, but... Right. Like, what other choice do I have? Like, I can't Mumbles, ask him you to you would move totally Fusro do your friends. Yeah, you I, would. But most of us would. Right. But really, in real life, a, a real human yourself. wouldn't stand there. If you walked no. up to them, they would move. And if they didn't move, you could ask them to move, and if they still didn't move, you could turn sideways and scoot by them. So there's multiple levels of this makes no damn sense, I should not have this problem. <laughs> and it just creates this this, in a, this intense frustration that such a simple Come problem back, of walk through goal. doorway is, it, you I know, that I this, can this get over. <laughs> That I, you know, going through a doorway asshole. is too hard for the Dragonborn. Really? They should make that into she a dragon shout. Scoot. Fusro, scoot. Oh, <laughs> this per you're commenting that this person's such an asshole. That's another thing. Everybody mm. in this town is such a jerk for no I reason. I liked her. I liked her because she was a jerk. She's like, buy my stuff? I don't care. It's the best stuff in town. I was like, I just wanted a sword. She's like, I don't even care what you do. I'm like, <laughs> oh, you're so cool. You're too cool for me. I think she would have been better if if she'd been in another town where I wasn't already rubbed raw yeah. by everyone else. Yeah, it's it's this critical mass of awful people Jack in the same town. Yeah. Come back when you. So she doesn't get to shine. She's just uh, no. instead of being an interesting, oh, off. eccentric character, she's just another asshole. That is what you wish. Well, is there anything else I want to grab? If you from put you, too many so... assholes in a game, then it makes the player not care not. about okay. anything. Like it makes the player right. cool with killing whoever, oh, and shit. that's Run away. an issue. You should feel like you don't want to kill people in a video yes. game. <laughs> and nobody feels bad about killing you. In, in a video What's game happening? or not in a video game, I think that's kind of a truism. <laughs> <laughs> but how? What was the last time you feel bad for killing anybody in Skyrim? Never. Like people, well, I mean, you can't kill anybody, but if you could, I, like, I feel bad for killing foxes, but I don't feel bad for killing any human yeah. or any. I, I, I could kill Be Bellathor oh and God, they have a sleep like of... a baby that night. It wouldn't even feel bad. <laughs> yeah. Like, I wouldn't even need a reason. <laughs> I just Fucking imagine you, like, sleeping in his bed. Like, this is the best night of sleep I've ever had. He's just, like, dead yeah. on the floor <laughs> next to the <laughs> bed. That's what made the Assassin's Guild so much fun for me in this game. I know we're not going to do it through this run through, but for me, it was like, go kill this guy. And they're like, oh, but he's got a sympathetic backstory. Oh, no, he's just some old guy. Again, Why are you going to kill him? this fucking horse. What? And I was like, I don't care. I'm going to enjoy killing whoever you want. The princess, the that old guy, chicken vendor. I don't care.
the orc. There's a there's a quest in the Assassin's Guild where you have to kill a bard who's oh also the an orc. orc bard yeah. He was the only yeah. guy that I felt bad for killing. I did not yep. care about killing anyone bard. else, but I felt so bad for killing him. But I did it anyway, yeah. and then I went and collected my reward. It'd be way cooler oh. if they had, like, in the Assassin's Guild, instead of killing everyone every once in a while, you came up with, like, an alternative. Like, hey, Orc, who's also a bard, if you just stop doing this, I don't think anyone would actually want to kill you. So, and then if he's like, okay, you've persuaded me because you have so many points of persuasion, and it means something in this game then he would leave and then you'd be like good i didn't have to kill that one cool guy in the game it's good to see you too Esbern. it's been <laughs> I, I, I still am amazed at how staff at how bad this game handles that entire safe. element of persuasion i know yeah. it pisses me off cuz i always have characters that are very very high in persuasion cuz to me it's the best way to solve problems and in this game it doesn't mean Balls. Compare. I, I. I'm gonna keep doing this until the end of the damn series. But again, any of the Fallout games handle this better, mm -hmm. and Fallout doesn't handle it particularly gracefully. But <laughs> right. it's certainly better than this. Fallout New Vegas um, does it awesomely, where you have all kinds of different ways you can solve problems through. New, New Vegas does. Fallout Three doesn't. Oh fuck Fallout Three. Fallout New Vegas is the best. I would agree with that. Do I need to... Okay, Esbern, if you would like to talk now... Patience. Oh my god. This way. Look, he Guys, was recording come these on. lines in between takes on Minority Report. He was busy, he had other things to do. <laughs> I assume you know about... Oh, this guy's in the new oh, Star Wars movies, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, this changes everything, of course. No time to I don't know. So we must go. I'll bet he's a Sith because I hope there are no Sith. He's British. He's, well, I mean, good Dooku Jr. he's actually. I I bl actually believe he's Hungarian. Oh, they can uh, be Sith too. Oh yeah, well, I mean, it's Max von Sydow yep. and Christopher Lee. Those are your two go-to guys anytime you want an incredibly evil old guy. Do you know what he's? You just can't have an American Sith. They don't exist. And I don't want anyone in the comments to say that I'm wrong because I know that I am James right. James Earl Jones. I James know. Earl Jones. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> There's Aiden not one, not even no, hey, one no, Sith. We, we, no, we we no we kicked Hayden Christensen off the off the team. Or maybe you should about James Earl Jones. Like, come on. Yeah, that, that's fine. That's fine. Let's pretend we have. I like that Hayden Christensen was like the dude bro of Jedi and Sith. Like he sounded like such a surfer dude through the entire trilogy. Hi, Janessa. How's it going? Part history, part prophecy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going you know so on. What are we face? doing in this plot right now? There's dragons. So there's exposition going on that we don't care about. <laughs> oh, <she doesn't laughs> okay. Have Chanter while we're doing this. Cool. And I'll go back to talking about Star Wars and pissing off fanboys. Yeah, basically, there is this Alduin's Wall and this ancient Nor place that has the key to defeating the dragons written on it, basically. I remember this. This was stupid. That could apply to if if I wasn't watching the show right now, I'd have no idea what part of the game you were talking about. It's the stupid wall from the trailer. Like if if anyone remembers yes. like the preview trailer of like Skyrim's coming out, and it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna blow Oblivion out of the water. It's that trailer where it's like the camera is panning across all of the 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 stupid stone etched images of oblivion gates opening and then suddenly there's a hero and then dragons show up it's that stupid wall that's the wall we have to go see yeah they made one and put it in the bethesda offices i actually think the wall is kind of cool it is kind of cool it's a cool looking asset 
The idea is right, cool, let's... the quest is stupid. Yeah. Okay, here's my problem with this quest, and I'm going to declare it now, like, a week before we actually do it. At the end of the quest, it's got the rage style, like, oh, you just take the exit door right at the end of it, and as if I remember right, the exit door is like four feet from the stupid wall after you go through an entire series of caves and sword fights to get to the stupid wall. Yes. And it's like, why didn't we go in that thing instead of getting the stupid key and doing the stupid quest? Oh, this is stupid. Hadvar, you are home. You are sitting in the tavern in your hometown. What are you doing here? So you guys know the hometowns of individual NPCs? That is some dedication. The, no, this was... Hadvar was the dude who was one of the two choices we had to leave. What the wizard? fuck? I no, I don't call myself a wizard. What are you talking about? The gods will be the judge of that. What? You challenged him. You agreed to the challenge. My Dremora kicks your ass. Oh my god, everybody's beating this guy up. Human flesh. That was weird. <laughs> that was really weird. Why, why was he doing who's, that? Whose summon is that that was walking away on fire? That was Esburn's, I guess. Let's see if... If getting on this horse that keeps falling right. around counts as stealing. I like the idea nope. that that's what life is like in Skyrim. All right, uh, there's a fire elemental outside wandering around. It just went through my garden. Whose is it? Guys. And somebody's like, oh, it's... Wait, no, it's not mine. I haven't summoned... Is it yours? <laughs> I have oh, wait, come it's into me. the ownership it's of me. a horse. I don't know how. I don't know so, why. I figured it would come to it at this point, now. but we are now a chef cat riding a horse somewhere in Skyrim, and that's not the most absurd thing that has happened in this game. I knew this day. Spiders. Anyway, Hadvar is the dude at the beginning. Who like he's like, Who are you? And then character creation starts. Oh, there's a dragon over there. That dragon is summoning another dragon. Because he's Pantheon or whatever. Chef, I'll go! Dream. Chef Cat. I love how Mac. I love how Max von Sydow says. Max von Sydow says Alduin. Okay, Horace. It's very important that you do not rush at the dragon and attack him. That glowy light hurt you, I can't remember. Oh, the ghost again did it. Oh, uh, this is this thing this does not happen often enough. This is pretty cool. And it didn't happen with the time that this is actually like a, a story thing, did it? Because that that dragon just popped out fully formed, didn't it? Mm -hmm. oh. You've mistaken me for a man who pays attention. <laughs> I am here for the dungeon sound. The named dragon. I'm here for the dungeons and the dragons. The dungeons, the dragons, and the murdering what? NPCs. What? I'm floating. <laughs> this chef idea was the best one we've had in a while. <laughs> We's all eating good tonight, folks. Hunting bow of fear? So his entire existence, like, for that life, was literally to be summoned, and then literally less than five minutes later, killed. Immediately die. And, and Alduin just flies off, like, fuck, I ain't sticking around, you deal with this yourself. The best part is that this actually glitched out for me when I was here. And uh, Alduin sort of like started the summoning spell, and then I kind of got in a half fight with Alduin, but you're not supposed to be able to fight him yet, so we kind of <laughs> left. And But the summoning spell was still going on, and I waited 24 hours, oh and then when I came back, it was still the summoning spell, and Alduin was nowhere to be seen. Hi, 
and I was waiting for a dragon, and uh, I left disappointed. I basically waited three days staring at this giant pillar of smoke and dust spiraling up out of the ground, and Alduin Did left, and, and it was never going to happen. Did you get Ooh, your money back? Over here. I don't. I, just, I didn't did pay I to money? show up, so no. Eventually, the I... next time I came through there after leaving the area, there was a dragon there, but but it, Alduin did not summon him while I was there. Yeah, Alduin. 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 Let's fast travel to Rorikstead to get my horse to pop up. Oh, okay, Abster, you're such a dork. <laughs> there he is. I'm awesome, and you know it. Oh, he's such a dork. <laughs>